My name is Henrik Voss. I'm product manager for cameras and lenses at ARI. We had the ARI booth at the NAB show 2011. And um, what I want to show you now is the Alexa M. It's a new member of the family uh, of Alexa cameras. And what we did uh, with the M is that we separated the camera's head, which contains the sensor, and the body, which contains um, the recording um, unit and the interfaces. Between the head and the body, we have a fiber optic connection. Um, so, in fact, the image quality and all the recording options and, um, and workflows which you can do with the M are the same like with the Alexa camera, but we have a quite a compact um, um, M head here which is very suitable, for example, for uh, 3D setups, like you see here on this 3D rig, or even for action photography or tight corner shots. Um, this is still a mock-up. We will have uh, working prototypes by IBC this year, and um, in the beginning of next year, we'll have the final production models. Um, the head itself will weigh approximately two and a half kilos. That's approximately five pounds. Um, as you see, we, we have optimized this head uh, in size and weight. We have on top and uh, on the button, we have uh, flat surfaces with multiple mounting points. That is very easy to set it up on any type of 3D rig. Um, you can also mount a handle on the head, for example. And uh, we have some other interfaces here beside the fiber optical interface. By the way, this is a standard SEMTI cable. Um, we also um, have a local power because you can either power the head through the hybrid cable or you can power it locally, 12 or 24 volt. Um, then here on, on this side we have um, two other uh, connectors. One is for the electronic viewfinder and one is uh, an Ethernet port. Um, so eventually, when the final product is out, you will be able to connect an electronic viewfinder or um, devices like, for example, our RCU4, which is uh, the remote control unit. So you really have um, all necessary interfaces on the head if you like to. If you don't need it, you don't have to put it there. The head of the Alexa M does not directly dock to the body. Um, because we are optimizing it really in size and weight. It's not only the sensor here, it's also um, the, the transmission part to the fiber um, uh, cable. Um, and as you see, it's really as small and compact as it can be. Um, so it's not meant to be dockable to the body. That would be really um, another thing than it would be larger than uh, if, as if it is now. Um, but I think for the special applications which we were designing this camera for, it's a perfect choice. On the body design, we have not yet really finally decided. The body which we have there in the showcase um, looks like the standard Alexa body besides its front where the fiber connector is. Um, of, we are not yet really um, uh, finished with the design. It, of course, it can fit to a rack mount unit. Um, but also it should be possible maybe to put it on your backpack or something like that if you want to do a kind of action photography. So we are still flexible with it. Um, it's not yet the final design, it's, but what is sure um, is of course that it will keep all the interfaces uh, which uh, Alexa now has, like the rack outs, ARRI RAW output. It will have the, the S by S recording option on, uh, on ProRes. Um, so all this, what you know from the Alexa, will be maintained with the M. The form factor of the body, we will figure something nice out. We are planning to have a final product by the beginning of 2012. Um, however, um, at IBC this year, in September, we want to have the first working prototypes. And these uh, prototypes are allocated for uh, Cameron Pace Group. Um, so they are the first ones who can, who can use them for 3D productions and we are very happy to have that partnership with them because they have a tremendous uh, knowledge uh, in 3D and of course can give us invaluable feedback um, uh, on, the, on the camera. Um, well and then the final product of course in 2012 
will be available for everybody. Music